Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Morris Man. And as always, I thank you guys for coming to my channel. Today I'm going to do an analysis of a song. From time to time, I'll do these to kind of give you an idea of the arrangement and some of the things that are going on in a particular song, whether it's good or bad. And this song initially was a, it was a request from one of my subscribers to actually send me payment to do it. And I got kind of confused as far as what he wanted. So normally when I, I don't totally comprehend what you want, I send you send you your money back with an explanation as far as uh, I'm not quite sure what you want here. So if you can just more or less give me a little more details and then we can move from there. You know, because I don't want to take people money, assume something, give them this on an the assumption that, hey, I wanted this. You know, so I refunded the money. I did not just decide just to do the song. I was like, you know, it's it's a two minute and 37, 37 minute song from the 60s. How bad can it be? And it was a nightmare to do. It was, it's kind of like the Al Green songs where Al Green has his own structure because most songs almost kind of have a universal format as far as this is the intro. This is the verse. This is the pre-chorus or the B section, which is what I call it, then the hook, and then, you know, so on and so forth. So you can follow it pretty easy because you kind of know the structure. It's like, okay, it's about to change on the fourth beat into something else. Okay, I was expecting that because the, the way that more songs are structured, you know what's coming next. You know, this song totally didn't obey by that rules. It was like... uh I don't know what's coming up next. Because normally when I do post a song, I give you guys the chords cross screen. And then I give you the section of the song. It's like, okay, this is the verse right here. This is the, the chorus of the hook right here. And it's, it's indicated, you know, on my covers. This one, I just abandon that because I'm like, I don't know where the, the, the chorus comes in or if this is called the chorus or not. So I just kind of left it, you know, kind of a... Uh, empty there and normally with most songs you can be thrusted into any part of the song you know where you at it's like okay this song and this is one song that's similar that is like this because there are a few songs that are like this you got to start from the beginning and play straight through if you try to come in in the middle you're going to get confused because now you don't know where you're at because of the structure or the fluctuation of the structure and it's a beautiful song you know actually alice Alice Alicia Keys covered it. That's how I was able to get the professional sheet music for this song because it didn't I couldn't find it under Brenda Holloway's a version, but it's the same song. And actually thank God it was in the same key. She did Alicia Keys did it in the same key as Brenda Holloway. That was a tremendous help to me. So uh, I had to do what is called an arrangement for guitar because that's a hundred percent piano song. I mean, there is a guitar in there doing a little chink 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 but you know that's not carrying the song you know it's the piano that's carrying the song so i had to piggyback on what the piano player was doing as opposed to me just doing chink chink because i mean i could have done chink chink but i don't think that would have helped my subscriber learn the song you know unless he's going to play it within the band confine with the exact same arrangements of the original chink chink it's like okay then then that would make sense but i'm like I'm going to give you the chords, you know, and, and again, the piano player is carrying the chords. And I had to make some slight adjustments as far as there were quite a few slash chords. But what a lot of people don't realize when it comes to theory, slash chords are mainly, not totally, but mainly for piano. They're written for piano because what that means is you're playing the chords with one hand and then with the left hand, you're playing uh, the red note, you know. It could be like an F chord with a C in the bass, you know. But since you're a guitar player, you don't play like that. You you know, you got one hand, and that one hand has to do everything as far as putting a C in the bass. And again, it's usually for the piano player, so the guitar player can just play the straight chord. He doesn't have to play that note in the bass because he really don't have a bass because he's playing guitar. He's not playing piano where... You got the bass range here and the piano range here. And these are things that you need to know to become a pretty decent musician, especially a studio musician, you know. And as you go on your journey to learn, that's why I put an emphasis on, please go get formal lessons. Because if you don't, you know nothing about what I just said. Nothing. 
you know, but they teach you that, you know, within taking formal lessons, whether it's guitar or piano. So when you look at sheet music, you're like, okay, I'm going to do this to make an arrangement for it to work as far as what I'm doing with it, whether I'm playing along with it or I'm playing in the band and, you know, you make your adjustments, you know, because there's some songs you really don't have to. It's like, just play what they play. But there's some songs like, okay, I'm going to have to kind of get a little creative here and make it work. And this is definitely one of those songs where I had to be creative and make it work. I didn't what I didn't do what the guitar player is doing on the song, Chink, Chink. And he's not doing really that throughout the entire song. So it's like, okay, I got to, you know, add in some arrangements that work. But I'm going to sign off now. Uh, you know, I just thought I would do an analysis of the song to give you guys an idea of how, you know, kind of different. Because another interesting thing about that particular song, now my cat wants to leave all the time. Goodbye, buddy. Let's go. All right, you got to stay there. You know, most songs, if they're in, most of them are in four, four times. And jazz stuff is kind of in weird timing, three, four times or whatever. If you can leave, you leave. But this is in four, four time. But what's interesting about this song, there's a part in the song where after it comes out of a change, because there's a couple of them, you know, you count one, two, three, four, one. And on that one, you're on another, another chord, unless you're doing a duplicate, another four bars of the same. This one, in the middle of it, are you leaving? Get out of here. This one, there's a part in the song where it changes on four and still a one. So it doesn't give you a full four bar measure. It gives you three. Then you on something else, which is usually kind of weird, especially in a song that has four, four time as opposed to three, four. Because in three, four, that's different. You know, but uh, this song was a nightmare to do. It took me like two hours to do the arranging for the song because I'm like, it's not formatted. I mean, meaning that what's coming next after the fourth bar is going to be something totally different from what it would normally be. You know, but uh, I got through it, you know, because I was about to throw in tough. Like, forget this. But I was like, you know what? I had somebody that did pay me, but then I had to refund the money. I was like, you know, I'll do it. You know, you know, sometimes I'll do these, you know, types of things. But let me just say this and then I'm going to end it because I guess I have to sometimes keep interjecting this because you don't know what you don't know. And I get from time to time, almost on a daily basis. You know, they see my video. They, you know, you did a great job. Could you do this song for me? Then I got to send them the link to the other video to explain why I can't do this for you for free. Because those videos take anywhere from an hour to two and a half hours to do. And like I said, I get over a hundred requests a day, you know. And, and unfortunately, I just don't have two hours and a half to give to everybody that requests. That's why it's really important if you're really serious about learning the song. Go through the tab and service. And uh, I'll leave a link down here. Well, you know, I'll leave a link for that video so you can, you know, you can go through the tab and service. Because the people that ask don't know. They think that nobody asked today. But guys, actually, as the, the ship, as the channel grows, and I thank each and every one of you guys for the subscription and support, it becomes almost impossible to do it because it's unfair to do this and spend two hours free for someone and then I have a tab in service, uh, fifteen dollars a song, two song minimum, you know. But first, run the song past me. Just don't send me the money. Say do this, cause I mean, sometimes can't do it. It doesn't work on guitar, or it's just extremely difficult, and it might cost a little bit more, you know. So run it past me first. Leave me a comment. Hey Morris, man, I'm thinking about learning this song. What do you think? Can you, can it be done? Then if I say, hey, yeah, it works, then you send me the money. But uh, from time to time, I'll have to. You know, make that statement I just made because, you know, again, 99 percent of the people don't realize that 99 percent, 99 people, other people ask for the same thing today. And I just can't do that anymore. You know, I don't have it's not a much not enough time in the day to field 99 free requests. It's it's impossible to do 99 pay requests in a day. You know, so please keep that in mind because my father had a, a, a you know, a saying, you know, 
as he was growing up, being a grown ass man, never asked another grown ass man for something you're not willing to pay for, you know, and, and that makes a lot of sense to me, you know. So I'm going to sign off now until next time. Take care and thanks for watching.